In the 1979 Guinness Book of Records, there was an award to my guest this evening, which was a triple superlative for 100 million albums, 100 million singles, and 60 gold discs. And it rightly recognized him as the most popular music composer ever. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul McCartney. <laughs> They've recognized yes, you. Yes, I think. <laughs> they, they know who you are. Oh. Last time we worked together, which is about a year ago, you were actually mixing with George Martin the tracks of Broad Street, which is about to burst onto us, and that was the last time we met. And it's opening mm -hmm. when? Next Thursday, isn't it? Yes. Any trepidation? What, me? Nervous? No. Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> but do, do you keep your fingers crossed? Are you? Very much so. And anything else I can find. <laughs> Or it's offered to you. Well, yes, this is right. Sure it gets a lot it, before we actually take a trip to Broad Street, uh, can we go a little bit down memory lane? Yes, um, Russell. Can we? Yes, I. Did you talk like that in them days? Russell Arty. <laughs> I've seen you on telly, Russell Arty, by gum. You're not like you are. Ah, uh, we've supped some stuff. Oh, by God, we've supped some yeah. stuff. <laughs> we don't get out much, do no, we? No, we don't. We yeah. don't get out much. Oh. Now then, was there always music in the family? For me, yeah. Um, my dad and his father before him had been into music. Uh, his father was in like a brass band. He used to play um, called the E flat bass, the big umpa. And my dad um, was in like a jazz band called Jim Max Jazz Band. Yeah. And he used to play trumpet and piano till his teeth gave out and it was just piano. <laughs> Which, Which is that? your dad on That's that? That's my dad, bottom right of the screen. You see the resemblance? Yeah. And that, then you go, there's a lady to his left, and then... Now, I'm going to get this wrong, my family's going to kill me, but I think that's my Uncle Jack. Oh, he's a nice, nice lad, lad, your Uncle he Jack. He was a grand lad, was Jack. <laughs> <laughs> he used to play trombone. I think that's him, anyway, and there, a couple of other mates who were in the band. Now, was your mother encouraging you to play music at all? Yeah, she wasn't really very musical. It was mainly my dad was the, the musician who used to sit around playing the piano and stuff. My mum used to uh, whistle a bit. <laughs> well, you remember those things, don't you? Your mum whistling. <laughs> out in the kitchen, you know. What was she? She was a nurse. Was she? Uh, midwife, yeah. She was a midwife and then later a health visitor. She were a conscientious midwife too, weren't she? Yes, uh, yeah, she was. <laughs> um, she was, oh, there she is. God, look at this. Flipping next, like, this is your Russell. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was her in the middle. Yes, of course it was. <laughs> and what, she, she was a midwife and your dad was what? what, what My you? dad was a cotton salesman. So anything, any time you've got a little bit of cotton, you want to know how to pick the staple, I'll tell you all about it. At school, were you bright? Were you dull? Were you bored? Were you happy? I was, I think I was... Average intelligence, not bad. I, I went in for a few exams that other kids didn't go in for. Um, if you passed them, you got free books and stuff. You know, there were a few exams like that. So I, I must have been a little bit above average, but um, I couldn't concentrate. On all my reports, it was, would do well if you could concentrate. Remember that? <laughs> and that, that was what they thought about me, you know, is that if they could channel it, it'd be all right. But. Uh, we were into sort of rock and roll and stuff, you know, so that we couldn't handle all that algebra and stuff at the same time. What did you look like then? Um, did you have a uniform? I had a Tony Curtis. Did you? Yo. Sleep dumb. No. <laughs> Is that look? Oh, that's, that's before my Tony Curtis. You were a fatty then. <laughs> <laughs> you would bring out that photo, wouldn't you? You Dear were a little me. fatty. Yes, I was a bit chubby. Actually, I'd, I, I had someone for saying that, Russell. Watch your step. Did you? <laughs> no, no. That was a very touchy point with me at 14. Was it? Mm. They used to call it puppy fat. <laughs> Didn't make it any better. <laughs> did you ever get caned for being naughty? I did occasionally, yes. I must admit, Your Honour. There were a couple of occasions. And your mates were caned as well, sometimes? Mates were caned, yes. We, we did, they used to cane us and, uh, you know, six of the best kind of thing. But um, I remember this time, 
George got caned, George Harrison, because we were mates at school. And, I mean, we never really did anything wrong, but we, we might have, like, uh, tight trousers and Ted hairdos, and so that pointed you out as somebody, as a troublemaker. So George got done once, and the uh, teacher missed him and got him here. Whack. So he, he had a couple of big wheels came up here, you know, those rash things. And he went home, and he's having his tea with his dad, and they're all chatting about how he went at school. And his dad said, what's that? And he saw these things, and George told him, you know, the teacher did it. So the next day, they were in class, and uh, somebody popped their head around, popped their head around this, the door, you know, the class. Um, Mr. Uh, whoever the teacher was, who'd came, George, come out there for a moment, please. And he came out, and uh, it was George's dad there. He said, did you do that to my son across the fellow? I said, yes, I did. Went, Whack! <laughs> And what happened after that? Oh, he was a hero. He was, <laughs> he was just the school hero then, George's dad. That was it, you know, but uh, I used that. to tell my dad, you know, I got caned, dad. He said, well, you probably did something with <laughs> No help from there at all. Dad, you know, dad, hit him. Were you uh, cl a close enough family to be severely distressed when your mama died? Yes, uh, yeah, I was, I was 14, and... Um, it was very difficult at 14 because you, you're growing up and you're sort of getting your act together. I see it with my own kids. Around about 14, you get very conscious of what you were, you know what I'm saying? So um, it was a tough time to have something like as devastating as that happen. And I think I um, probably covered a lot of it up at the time, as you would, 14-year-old boy. And uh, that was one of the big, strong bonds between John and I, John Lennon, because mm. a couple of years after uh, that, his own mum was killed. So we kind of had a bond with it. But it, w it wasn't easy, you know. Because, How did your dad react to it? Oh, terrible. It's uh, devastating, that's what it was, you know, because he was left with two boys. And you start seeing him cry and stuff like that you've never seen before, you know. It's, it's mm. not pleasant. Had you saved up for a guitar then? Um, how I got my first guitar was I got a present off my dad, a birthday present, which was a trumpet, because he'd been a trumpeter. And just before the guitar craze, Everyone was actually into trumpets. The trumpet was the big, you know, the man with a golden arm, look back in anger. Eddie Calvert. Eddie Calvert, all that. I got his autograph. Oh. <laughs> See? All right. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so my dad gave me this trumpet, and I tried, I learned the saints on it and a couple of things like that. But um, suddenly worked out that I wasn't going to be able to sing with a trumpet in my mouth. Not even you could do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I went and swapped that for a guitar. And it was a right-handed guitar, and I still got the guitar. It's in, it's in Broad Street, actually, and I'll do a busking thing. But um, the problem was, right-handed, I didn't realise that the, you could turn a guitar over and be left-handed. So I was a left-handed person with this right-handed guitar, and I couldn't get on with it till I suddenly thought, change the strings around. I think I got it off, um, who was the fellow? Slim Whitman. He was a left-handed. 